beautiful people. So tonight, I just wanted to do a nightly routine or get unready with me after a work day. So I got home a little bit ago. I just had a little mini dinner. I wasn't super hungry. And my favorite part of the day after getting home from work, one is taking off my shoes and socks because I cannot stand having stuff on my feet. I'm a naked feet kind of girl. And then next is taking off my makeup for the day and like letting my hair down. Ugh. So that is what we're going to do now. So to start off, I do double cleanse. My, f my OG favorite is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is actually the jumbo size, which is so good. It's a, it's a little pricey nowadays, but then again, what is not pricey these days. But I will say that this lasts me... I want to say this lasts me around like four months-ish. So I guess buying this three times a year isn't terrible, but once again, this is the 6.7 ounce, so just take that into consideration. But it's just such a nice texture. I have a backup party, but I'm already pretty much just about out. But this will still last me a couple days worth before I have to dip into the new one. And then after we do that, I switch up my cleanser. This is like the one skincare option I changed to kind of, I don't know, try out new things because the rest of my skincare is pretty routine. I don't switch those almost ever. But this cleanser is from Innisfree. It's the Cherry Blossom Glow Jam Cleanser. It's got like a nice jelly consistency. I have, I'd say probably typically just like normal skin. If it were to lean anything, I guess maybe slightly on the drier side, but it's pretty normal. I use a lot of glowy products, which is why it looks super shiny now. So I've had my makeup on for, let's see what time it is, it's like 9.30. So I've had my makeup on for over 12 hours at this point. And this is, this is what we're working with, which is great. Because I don't wear a lot of makeup these days, pretty more in the natural, heavy on quotation on this part. Um, but this one works nice. It sets this up pretty well, which is one of my favorite parts of cleansing is the bubbles. If a cleanser doesn't bubble, personal preference, it's not really for me. But I'd say if I had to go to like a try and true one that I always love and I love the smell of, I just wish it would suds more or bubble up more, is the Fresh Rose Cleanser. Oh, that one smells so good. It's not like a, it's like a typical pungent rose. It's just like, it's almost like sweet candy-ish rose in like the most mm, way. But we'll just go ahead. I normally take my mascara off with water first. I kind of just want it like so underneath. Then I'll go with the cleansing balm, then the oil. So we'll go and just strike that down. So that's real time. Literally, that's how long it takes me to take off my mascara. Super easy. I don't use waterproof mascara. And then I do not wet the rest of my face. It's literally just whatever runs from my mascara. And then I'll grab, I don't know, let's see. Maybe like this much of that cleansing balm. You don't need a lot by any means. I kind of just warm it up between my fingers. And then just go in circular-ish motions to kind of break down everything. And if you want to gua sha, this is the best product and the best time to do it because this is super slippy on your skin. I don't have any sensitivity to it. My skin is definitely more on the sensitive side. This is just so good. Most of the time I just do like a little facial massage with my hands and without the gua sha, but I do have one that I like to use. I just need to start putting it in the freezer. It's summertime, I feel like that would be so nice at the end of the day. And even in the beginning, kind of just wake up your skin. I really just kind of enjoy 
massaging away my makeup and kind of just giving my skin a little TLC because you only get one body and sometimes the end of the day this is the most relaxing part is just kind of doing a little facial massage working away at any of the areas you have more tension you can actually carry a lot of tension in your eyebrows that I think that most people don't realize especially if you focus on relaxing each of the muscles and this is how this is how we look when we have that part done and then we'll just rinse that off and then while my face is still wet I go in with like a dime sized amount of that cleanser my facialist used to say it's kind of like activating your cleanser when you basically go on these motions because it starts out as a completely clear gel and then after a little bit it'll turn into lather if you will and then just go in bring it down my neck what's nice about having the days where my hair is super slipped back like this i can actually get It just does such a good job like it doesn't strip my skin it it feels like normal to the touch still so these two in my opinion are sensitive skin safe for my skin at least okay next essential step this product is holy grail I'm gonna put you on and I'll be so sad if it's sold out because it's it's that good. Actually, the way they do their drops is sensational. Okay, so this is my favorite skincare brand. It's by Monday Born. If you haven't heard of this brand or don't know, the founder is Tenny Panosian. She is so amazing. Definitely one of the fa my favorite people that I follow on Instagram. She's so down to earth, so real. She's one of the few people that will actually respond to her DMs in such a human way. And she founded a company called Monday Born and this was one of the first products. I think it was the second one. But it's a hydrating essence and it is, you need this in your life. If you're not big into essences or if you've ever tried one, you have sensitive skin, this is a wonder product. It literally, I compare it to a drink of water for your skin. I'm pretty sure that's what so many people have said about it. If you go and look at reviews on, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced beable is where you buy this. So basically we'll just take I don't know, maybe like three shakes of it. I don't know if you can completely see it. But just, just about this much product is all you'll need. Kind of rub it between your fingers just a little and then pat it in. But the way Monday Born Drops work is super unique. So they make sure that they have the most fresh batches of ingredients and fresh batches of product going out to the customers that they do limited drops. So every... X amount of time they open a drop for the products everybody is able to order within that period once the drop closes then the company that they use as their fulfillment center will make and put the batches into each of the bottles and then ship it out from there so it's fresh so it's not a product that's been sitting on the shelf for months six months plus like typical skincare brands are so you can't always order the products but they're the most fresh when you do get it. And what's wonderful about this is you have so many different uses for it. I've put it, it sounds crazy, but I've put it on like bruises before. I, I know people put it on burns. It's just, it's such a crazy multitasking product because it's so gentle and so hydrating. I, I cannot recommend this enough. You can use it morning and night. Once again, I will link this down below. It is so, so, so good. And then next, I'll go in with my eye cream. I'm a big believer in eye cream. I've started using this 
it wasn't too too long after high school honestly somebody told me that to start using ice cream before you need to use eye cream and it'll save you when I've just been doing it ever since so this one is my current favorite I've been using this one I don't know probably like two years now it's the use of the people dream eye cream this one I like because it's super rich and decadent and it just feels really nice on the eye area I do use this one morning and night as well there's no SPF or anything in there, so it's good for any time of day. And I just packed this in, small lotions. <clears throat> and then tonight we'll just have one final step. So this is another Monday Born product. This is their Retinol 5010-005. I forget exactly what the name means again. It, I think it was just like the the batch number that finally got approved but this one is an in overnight intensive oil so it's 50% vitamin E 10% squalane 0.5 sorry 0.05% retinol so it's a super low dose retinol oil but it you'll just see in real time this is what the packaging looks like it's a little pump on it this is something you only use two to three times a week and I switch between that retinol and then rebirth which is an exfoliating serum with lactic acid this I swear by I can use it as like a spot treatment and to help fade spots too whenever I get a little break out but this retinol oil all you need is one pump it is super super hydrating like just let's just wash this together just pat it in there's almost no scent it's just whatever the natural ingredients are. But even though one pump doesn't feel like a lot at first, once you start pressing it in, it just, do you see how like wet my skin looks? It's insane. You don't even need a moisturizer over this. Unless you have like incredibly dry skin, then you might want to do an extra layer of adding your typical nighttime moisturizer into this but that is insane like that is so good I cannot recommend it enough super gentle once again the Monday Born team actually worked with a third-party company to test the longer term results from using this specific specific retinol it's insane if you go on I'm pretty sure it's posted on Monday Born's Instagram. You can actually see some of those pictures that were done side by side, but more on a, on a cellular level. It's really, really impressive. Uh, let's see. Typically, if I weren't using that last step, I would go in with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is my favorite nighttime cream. It's nice and rich. It keeps my skin hydrated all night when I wake up in the morning. It's still nice and juicy and plump. It's just everything. And now, the, the two usual steps that everybody and their mother does, you know, when they go to take care of their teeth, which is essential, flossing and brushing. Now the teeth brushing is done, I went ahead and took out uh, the extension that I had in my hair. I don't do this every night, but I like to do it a couple nights out of the week, just as kind of like a little self-care moment. Let's see, insert name here, Got To Grow Hair Serum. This stuff is so good, so, so good. And it's not thick and goopy to where if you put it on, it's gonna make your hair feel dirty immediately. I actually use a serum immediately after getting out of the shower and my hair when it dries it doesn't look oily even though I had just put it in and it's clean but obviously my hair is on the dirtier side right now but I'm still going to go ahead I focus this obviously anywhere your hairline where your hair is just a little bit more on the fine side or you want to work on the density there so I focus that now that we're looking super cute I go ahead I'm just going to take this is my hair gua tool. One for my face, this one is specifically for my hair. I kid you not, if you have never tried one for your hair, get one. These like little comb pieces. 
it's it's a whole nother experience and I'll just go in and essentially massage that serum into my scalp or onto my scalp. skincare and hair part is done for the evening and immediately I feel so much more relaxed and ready for bed. I truly believe that what you do right before you go to sleep is so essential among obviously other things to the success of being able to sleep well at night. It's just super relaxing. It's the best way to end the night. And now, we'll go get in bed, maybe read a little bit. Wait to pick up a new book. We're not starting it yet because we haven't finished the other one that we're on, but yeah, let's go get in bed, read a little bit, and then we'll call it a night. Let's go. Now we're in bed, I think. We're gonna keep working through stillness is the key, which is so good. But I have yet to read a Ryan Holiday book that I haven't thoroughly enjoyed. And it's just enough to kinda get your brain in a good space, but not enough to like stimulate it and have you be more awake than you were before you started it. So it's pretty much what I'll do on a typical nightly basis after getting home from work. So thank you so much for watching, for uh, just sitting here with me. And once again, I will link all these skincare products I use, especially Monday Born. I'm telling you, I cannot recommend them enough. Get your hands on one thing. If you only start with one, get your hands on Source. But I will see you all in my next video. And, you know, it sounds so cheesy, but don't forget to like and subscribe and I will be back in a few days for the next video so have a beautiful night